Let's go. Call the meeting order. Roll call, please. Mayor Sweet. Present. Mr. Birnbaum is absent. Mr. Nilia. Here. Mr. Deport's here. Here. Mr. Smith is absent. Mrs. Wade. Here. Mr. Youngblood. Here. Notice was provided to the Burners Hill News Courier News Star Ledger filed with the municipal clerk and posted on the municipal bulletin board on December 12, 2014. Please all rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag, the flag of the United States, States of America and, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Moving on to presentations, seeing there are none, I'll move forward to um, item number five, approval of minutes. November 23rd, Mr. Schmidt was absent. December 14th, 22nd, Mr. Schmidt was absent. Um, anyone have um, any um, alterations or no. comments on the um, minutes? No. I'll Seeing that, I'll take a motion. Moved by yeah. Mr. Deporter. Second. Second by Mr. DeLeo. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain, none. The ayes have it. All right, at this point in the meeting, the mayor and council welcome comments from any member of the public to help facilitate an orderly meeting and permit the opportunity for anyone who wishes to be heard. Speakers shall limit their comments to five minutes. If reading from a prepared statement, please provide a copy and email a copy to the clerk's office after making your comments so it may be properly reflected in the minutes. Anybody from the public wishing to be heard? Sir? How are you? Hi. Good yourselves. Please Good. state your name for the clerk, please. Brian Thamer, I live on Three Garbage Street. Not that we don't know who you are, but you know. <laughs> I just wanted to talk about two things. One, the, there's still essentially no enforcement of any of the ordinances uh, regarding commercial vehicles, parking on the street overnight, paved front lawns, and parking under front lawn. Okay. Uh, it's still basically the same as it has been since it's been brought up either town council meetings or at the housing committees. There's basically no change. And then the second item is that there is now a commercial taxi service operating at one of the two commercial stores that's on Vernon's Avenue. Yes. Which definitely uh, raises the safety issue to even another level now, being that there's commercial vehicles going in and out, you know, taxis at all hours of the night. Mm -hmm. All right, the, um, the parking ordinances and, and the um, zoning ordinances, mm -hmm. um, we've... Um, we lost the zoning officer this year. We retired. We um, appointed Jeff Price mm -hmm. from Ferraro Engineering, and um, he's on. He's basically doing administrative work, going into our reorganization meeting in January, mm -hmm. and we'll be making com committee appointments and other personnel appointments. We're looking to hire an additional officer just to go out and do the zoning. Okay. Um, with the enforcement overnight parking, mm -hmm. that's our police, um, public safety. John, can you bring that up with the chief? I will. With the overnight parking issues. And um, we're looking for increased enforcement. We'll have public yeah, reports um, prepared, you know, um, quarterly at least, okay. um, coming into the new year. Mm -hmm. um, Jack, on the um, commercial business. Yes. It's a commercial zone. Are there any restrictions? Well, they, they still maintain a site plan. For, you know, they still need to get a zoning permit from uh, Jeff Price, and then they, may, they probably need board approval. Okay, they are working right now. It is occupied, so. Well, we should send out the zoning officer. All right, we'll do that then. Ralph, can you have the zoning officer go out and check the um, taxi service? Yep. Vernon's Avenue and uh, Maples. Maple? Maple. Maple. Yeah. Yes. Right on the corner. Yep. Do you have an address, sir? Exactly it's right on the corner. There's, two, right on the corner. there's two businesses yeah. there's in two there. two businesses. One's like a pulse, it's like a pulse a shop. A shop, yes. A pulse shop and a taxi service. It was just, a consignment shop. Yeah, it used to be a consignment yeah. shop. It, and just started, it just started recently within the last... So we'll see if they did receive any approval to open up this business. Okay. And uh, I mean, then just a completely ancillary note uh, as far as zoning is. I mean, I, I know other people in the neighborhood have gotten some summonses, mm -hmm. which is good. Um, mm -hmm. But I mean, the follow through. I know one person contacted the zoning officer and he said whatever the time frame was given for meeting whatever criteria it was that they that they had issues with. Um, you know, his response was basically, that's eh, really not that important because no one really answers these things anyway. That was the zoning officer's response? Uh, from what I understand, I'm not 100% certain who this person is. It's not to. really important because no one really responds to these letters anyway. And who did you hear this from? 
I, I would prefer not to say it, but I mean, I, it's a resident of the neighborhood. Okay. And what kind of summons was it, you know? Regarding ordinances that they were, you know, in violation of, but I'm not sure what, what it was. It was either, you know, a trailer or something like that in their yard. All right. You know, if there's a summons just, issued, it has to go in front of the court if a summons was issued. So well, not, maybe would. not a summons, it was a letter saying that you're in violation of... Usually it's 30 days. 30 days. It's a follow-up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Usually there's a warning letter, a warning notice sent out for correction. I mean, corrections made with That's them. the policy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, <coughs> sent, he sent a bunch of letters out the beginning of um, December, I think. Our last housing meeting, he came with a list of... Yep. Of, um, yeah. Letters. That was December's yeah. meeting, was it? Yes. Yeah. And the December policy meeting. is 30 days. Okay, so maybe they just haven't. We'll, we'll find out. We no, have I'm a meeting saying, to begin in the beginning of January. We'll I, find out. It just, I mean, the, the response of it doesn't really matter because no one answer, doesn't answer these things anyway. It's no, we want to make sure. Yeah, it's yeah, it's no, never been enforced in the past, so it's understandable. And no, things no, have I, changed in the last three years, and we're working towards it. Getting the proper laws, making sure that they're enforceable, and going through the proper procedures now. Yeah, there were a number of ordinance changes recommended by the housing committee actually this year, mm -hmm. and um, they've been adopted, and um, now it's just a matter of enforcing moving into the new year. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Bye. Well, good evening, Mayor Council. Rob Walton, Mr. Lisa, the Power Light at the Q2 Chatham Road in Southern New Jersey. There's a couple of things I wanted to update to Council on. Mm -hmm. um, on February 3rd, we're having another open house for our PSI Institute. That's our associate's degree in kind of whole uh, construction where students uh, complete the two-year program, they graduate with a uh, certificate in uh, electrical engineering of sorts that allows them to be hired as linemen for JCPNL. We have a selection process whereby we scrutinize the candidates who to join the program. Um, successful candidates have their education completely paid for by JCPNL, books, fees, tuition, hold on yards, and they say when they graduate, they are then officially qualified to be linemen, and we usually wind up hiring just about everybody to graduate. PSI February PSI, what February and where? Third. February third. Wednesday, 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 February third or fourth. Okay. Uh, and who would they contact? Raritan Valley Community College is the location. The open house starts at six. And if someone has any questions, they should be given my contact information. There's also information on our website about the program. Uh, but unlike other associates degrees, this one is a real world uh, hmm. tangible skill that they can uh, use to uh, get a real world job. Not uh, pre prerequisites for this? Uh, high school diploma. Okay. That's it. You even have kids that are um, still finished in high school that apply in the hopes that they'll get into it starting in the fall. So this open house will be for the fall semester. Um, this is our third open house in the last uh, year and a half. And uh, each time we get a packed room of about 300 students, mm -hmm. from which we select I mean, 50 at the end of the class. And there's uh, part of the education is classroom education on electrical engineering, and the other half is uh, climbing poles and playing with wires and electric stuff. So. Mm -hmm. As I said, it's a most wonderful program that we to offered. We have uh, about a thousand employees at First Energy retiring each year. Uh, that's across all ten operating companies at uh, First Energy, so we have many folks uh, to replace those retirees who can afford it. Uh, the second thing I wanted to talk, to talk to you about is um, JCPNL has a speakers bureau. So if you have any senior citizens groups in towns or rotary clubs or lines clubs that have speakers or looking for people to come and talk to them about electricity, we're happy to supply speakers to do that. Uh, it's about a 20 or so minute uh, presentation with a 10 or 15 minute uh, question and answer period following that on topics from uh, safety, of electricity, restoring power after storms, uh, clean energy, all those good things. And other than that, this is my first full year on the job with JCPL as your area rep, and I uh, thank you for your support and uh, your cooperation. I hope you've uh, gotten what you needed out of us, and if you certainly uh, see what we can do for you, by all means. You know, You're doing a fantastic job. This is the best Thank communications we've efforts. had with Jason. Right, especially on the weather. It's been really good. Nothing a little planning. Yeah, we, we, have a little, we have a little ice tonight, so I'm glad you came out here. First Energy does employ two meteorologists that do nothing but look at the weather through the lens of how it will affect outages. And we get emails every morning and on the weekend telling us what weather events are coming up that might cause a power outage. And you rest assured we've got no warnings about this weather tonight, so we should be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was going to say, I'm not, you're, on, you're on record with that, so we're going to hold you to it. <laughs> you know, I, I heard sleep yes, in northern New Jersey, Smile which for the New Jersey, but I didn't seem to cover this part. Good. No, thank you. Thank uh, you very much. It's been very helpful. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you.
Okay, ordinances. Continued public hearing on amended ordinance 151708 and ordinance setting 2016 salaries and hourly rates for non contractual employees. Um, I'll open a public hearing on that. Anybody from the public wish to be heard? Council members, comments? The only way, is there, are we required by law to, when we present this, to have all our um, non union and union people on the same resolution? Because so we have the hourly people at the pool on the resolution. Instead of just pertaining to, um, it, it just seems confusing when we're talking about X percent. Well, it should be the non contractual. Yeah, they're all non contractual. Right. So contractual employees would be long. Contractual employees under their, 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 under their agreement. Yeah. Their separate ordinance for their contracting up the uh, Right, but it's on the. Uh, oh, welcome back. Good idea. Good idea. Just like that. Try to slide that one. Over. <laughs> I don't know. I just find it confusing when when we do adjust a couple of sal some salaries. We have everyone from the part-time pool employees and the basketball coaches all the way up. Maybe it's just me. Yeah, that's closer to non-union um, contractual actually, employees. The ranges for those positions often don't get adjusted much. Right. Those have ranges, yeah. But it just seems like I find it somewhat confusing on the ordinances that we're looking at when we've got full-time full benefits, recreation department full benefits, part-time hourly, um, and I don't think those are changing. Well, if there's a percentage increase, then wouldn't they change? And whatever the change is, they're listed as, as, I'm adopt or as we would adopt her. I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one that finds this at times, I won't say confusing, but unnecessarily um, hard to discern who's getting, you know, what we're doing and what we aren't doing, whose salaries are being adjusted and whose aren't. Well, most of them are 2% increases. The only thing that changes, the only exception to those few pages where there are ranges, and that's the way recreation has done it for years, because, uh, <clears throat> I, I, you know, I guess, I don't know. I just I don't know what, whether there's a market for sometimes the years just the range doesn't change, and position, sometimes it's right. it's it's a a they're they're inter they're part time positions. Yeah. But yeah. I guess I just don't necessarily. So most of those are temporary, short term. Right. Yeah. They don't. So they're not large amounts of money. I guess it depends on the program too, the skill set. Yeah, that's you know, right. For instructional versus. And, yeah, I understand that, but I'm just why do we actually include all of that in here in this ordinance? Because we can't pay anybody a dime unless there is something in this salary ordinance. Okay, so you've explained why we have yeah. to, to yeah. Mean, why we have to right. list mm -hmm. every. Yes, at the expiration okay, of the it. agreement. The all right, all right. Thank I'm you. Sorry. To <laughs> most of them are. All right. Anyone else? I don't entertain a motion to pass on final reading as amended on December fourteenth and adopt as published. A motion. I'll move. Move by Mr. B. Deportier. Second. Second by Mr. Leo. Roll call, please. Uh, Mr. Birnbaum is absent. Mr. DeLeo? Yes. Mr. DeCortier? Yes. Mr. Schmidt is absent. Mrs. Wade? Yes. And Mr. Young? Yes. Okay, I'll open a public hearing on 15-1709, an ordinance concerning parking restrictions on Lime Mount Road and amending Chapter 7 of the Borough Code entitled Traffic. Anybody from the public wishing to be heard? Anyone from the council? No, I think it's 
I think this is a good idea. All this right. is basically you know, no well, parking wait. on one side, one, yes. the, about 150 feet on the other, from, from the, the offset to the line. Yep. Right. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> and um, and this weekend it was a mess over there because the, the hair salon it was crowded and mm -hmm. and the florist there. And um, I need to talk to the chief because somebody was actually parked up on this on that side, on the halfway on the sidewalk, the new sidewalk. No. So um, when I came back around, they were gone. I don't know how long they were there for. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Well, the signs will fix that. The signs, yeah, yeah exactly. All right, I'll Can't get them up fast enough, I guess. All right, seeing so that, um, close the public hearing motion to uh, pass on final reading and adopt as published. Moved by Mr. Youngblood. A second. Second by Mr. DePortier. Roll call, please. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Okay, resolutions. Um, Sandy will pull 15272 for the reorg. That's a probationary police officer. Um, well, he started working today. Okay. And actually, so, I have sworn him in. He is completely all right. ready to so go. So we'll continue with it and just so do the, I would do this. the public now swearing in at the reorganization. Right. Okay. It, the swearing in is as a, as a presentation. Right. Okay. That's right. And I think he doesn't want that done uh -huh. next week. At this the way he gets paid. Yes, that's fine. Right. Okay. <laughs> all right. That's, uh, so resolutions 15271B. Resolution 15280. Anybody wishing to pull uh, for discussion? 271B, please. 271B, Mr. Deportier. And 15271 for me. Okay. Uh, and 273 for me, please. 273. 271 and 273. Bill? Is that it? Just those two? I think just those two. Yeah. The the 271 got renumbered because you had that surprise meeting, mm -hmm. and uh, Anthony forgot and okay. used the number I've already assigned That's fine. for this agenda. So. On the new agenda, it uh, says B. All right, so we're pulling yeah. 71 and 73. Yes. That's good. Go for it. All right, um, I'm going to just hand a motion to um, pass 15272. 15273 to two, no, 274. 272, 274. 274 to 280. I'll move. Moved by Mr. Youngblood. And second. Second. Second by Mr. DeLeo. Roll call, please. Mr. DeLeo? Yes. Mr. DePortier? Yes. Mr. Youngblood? Yes. Mr. DePortier? 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 Yes. Mr. DePort
again, if it's if it's the job that he's been doing, right? You know, there are questions with that, and that's that's one issue. But if there's to be more time for zoning enforcement, that's something above and beyond what what is hours allowed. With 28 hours, you might have to look into a um, second employee just to do enforcement. Yeah, we, but we talked about that. But and what this does, this saves us $34,000. Right. All right. This is Mike, so that his money. His primary job at this point is Michael Mondox, old. Right. right. However, he right. is not an engineer. No, neither was mine. And neither was mine. Okay. I, I just, you know, it concerns me that we are doing this as a sort of full time. Or not full time, but uh, permanent. permanent. Thank you very much, Jack. When there are issues, it seemed to be not quite resolved. Maybe we're not meeting all the expectations. So I would like to see this maybe, at, uh, you know, probationary for three months while we work some of these jobs out. This may not totally be his fault, um, but you know, I think it's an allocation of time. Is what. And right now, is that being done through Ferrara because we're in a contract with them, or is that? It, it, yes. Yeah, up until January 1st. 1st. So let's, I mean, that's what we did with housing last year. Let's, you know, let's, 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 I mean, do you want to award the one year with a three month provisionary? Uh, it's not a, a one year well, job. Like yeah. This is Isn't this like an at will employment? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So we could dissolve any time we wanted. Because we really need to set these responsibilities, we can't do it after the fact, mm -hmm. right? Correct. And unless you're eliminating the job, it's a whole complicated right. process to... No, I don't somebody. think we'll be able to do that. There's, there's quite a bit of paperwork that comes in that office, as we know from Mike Mondock being there for years. Right. So, so, so if, if, if the zoning enforcement section of it goes away to somebody else, mm -hmm. is there 28 hours enough? For, is, will he be busy enough for 28 hours a week just doing his zoning office? Yeah, I think that's the problem. Yeah. He's, well, he's too busy he, doing that now. He's too busy doing the paperwork and the, zoning. The paperwork yeah. is taking all of his time, which is why we're looking to pull in somebody else. Which the $34,000 will help net-net, end right. of the day. And see, you exactly. have to remember that Michael was, not, Michael was not the zoning officer at all. So he did no, basically no zone. I mean, he would in a pinch, but he enforcement was really not what, what he was doing. That's, Jeff had that position as his own enforcement officer with Michael. And now you have that new fee for doing and right. he's ha you, you saw one recently, it was three pages. Right. A lot of research. So, you know, there were two people in that office. He was his own enforcement officer, devoted to, uh, I think it was 10 to 12 hours, I believe, uh, from Ferrara. That purpose whatsoever, you know, that alone. And then Michael had his 35 hours plus doing the rest of the zoning official work. So there is, you know, there's there's a lot to be done in that particular area. And as Councilman De Porter pointed out, the savings that we're incurring here by um, doing this will allow us to be, um, possibly um, make it easier to get an enforcement, enforcement officer. officer. It would. It would. It would make it a lot more palatable. Right, so that's why to let's our budget. not be penny wise, pound foolish and leap into something. Let's figure out the roles and right. the costs and I would I advocate a three month probationer just so that we can work this stuff out. I don't you know we we seem to be you know, there seem to be stuff that is still falling through the cracks. So whether that's because there's more work than um, it, it seems the complaints that we hear, and if you correct me if I'm wrong, are basically on the zoning enforcement end. Because I've heard no problems about any of the work that he's been doing. As um, an officer. For, as the officer, the zoning officer. So I, I think if anything, it's the zoning end, it's the enforcement end right. of the, uh, the job or that is, that is what is, you know, he's obviously more time. Is three months long enough for to work that out? We want to do four or five, half a month? And what's? I think three is sufficient. It gives yeah. us a whole, you know, first quarter of the year to review yeah. that. I don't know what you guys think. It's a good starting point. Yeah, I think it's good. Mm.
Okay. <clears throat> yeah, where do you suggest we add that to this resolution? In the last paragraph, perhaps? While Jack's doing that, let's discuss um, why do we pull 73? Um, I had a question on that. Um, I speak this up. The cost of the Tuesday taxis at $117.33 to Morristown, to Bridgewater, I would like us to sort of look and see if there might be some other alternatives. I think some of the uses of that are what I might consider uh, a little abusive to taxpayers. And Sandy, we only pay when we use that. Correct? We only pay when we use it. But, okay, so we can um, pass this and look for other alternatives. What I don't want, if we don't, if we don't pass it and somebody's expecting to use it next well, Tuesday, I don't want us to not show right, up. Right, and I think there are some very legitimate reasons. There may be doctors and stuff like that. I think there are some less legitimate reasons. But it also, it's very, you know, at one hundred and seventeen dollars, um, that seems pretty expensive. Only, I understand, only when we use it, but I would just like to see if there might be some other alternatives, or there may be requirements that we can add as to who can use it and for what reasons. So, or not who can use it, but... We can always approve the contract, and if we find a lesser alternative, right. not, enter into a new contract, well, I we can have multiple like to contracts. Well, I alternatives to the Part B Tuesday um, section. I have no problem with the Friday trips to the supermarkets for everyone, and that's a bus, and it's used by several people. There's a 10-day termination clause in here. I know there's a 10-day okay. termination uh, you clause. You can cancel it at any time. Any time, time okay. okay. So we can approve tonight and work on modifications or amendments if we find something better, equivalent or better. Right. All right, that's good. If we're not if we're locked in for a year. That's a different animal. But. No, no. There's okay. a, I know there's a ten day um, clause. Just for your information, a couple of years ago, before we entered into this, we did some exhaustive research. Uh, we really didn't find too many alternatives. The problem is, it's very costly per person because it's not utilized very much. I mean, no, I understand that, but writing it, you, it would per person be a more which is why Friday's, no control over Friday's works because we are carrying it. First of all, it's less expensive. Yeah. But I mean, I just think there, you know, there are reasons why people need trips to Morristown, and maybe there are less reasons. Yeah, that comes up. I think isn't it once or twice a month? That's not an every week. Thing. Tuesday, That's twice a um, Twice monthly, either Bridgewater Commons or Morristown. Yeah, yeah so two twice times a month. Two times a month. <clears throat> Most of the trips are just local trips, yeah, which the county van also does. Mm -hmm. No, no, I. But this, this we entered into as a result of what was it? Three or four residents that three. came yes, to three. many meetings um, trying to make the case that the county facility wasn't mm -hmm. adequate. And what we wound up with. Right, right. <clears throat> and we can revisit, you can revisit, if you want to do research on it, you can revisit. I just think it could be, you know, in the days of Uber and stuff like that, maybe there are some more reasonable ways. Get a little apps. All right, so anyone else? There's a dollar for the app. All right, um, Jack Wall Mendes. Yeah, on Resolution 271, I would just add at the end of the second paragraph for a three month probationary period through March 31, 2016. Okay, so as and amended. Is that after 28 hours? Uh, yes, correct. Okay, and what was the addition? For a three month probationary period through March 31, 2016. And 15273? We could back out any. Within any ten days, or amend anything within ten it's days, right? In the contract, yeah. So it's right in the contract. It's right in the contract. Okay. All right. Yes. So entertain a motion to move fifteen two seventy one B as amended um, with a three month clause and fifteen two seventy three. I'll move. Moved by Mr. Deportier. Second. Second by Mr. Youngblood. Roll call, please. Yeah. 
Youngblood? Yes. Mr. Deportier? Yes. Mr. DeLeo? Yes. Mrs. Wade? Yes. All right, the guesses have it. Reporter, municipal attorney. Any questions for Jack? Um, I have one that I'd like to <coughs> raise it during the okay. session. Okay. Okay. Anyone else? Council Committee reports public safety. Jack, you have anything? We haven't met. Nothing on no public safety? Public safety? Public, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, we, um, Lyle, uh, Kyle Jordan has started, started work today. Yes. Um, they uh, have had no luck so far in finding any SLEO 2s, or that we do have one um, person guard that's I, come in. I have a, a person from Burnsville that forwarded me an email that I'll be forwarding to the chief okay. recently. Looking for sponsorship for the academy. Okay. Um, we have increased uh, the number of parking summonses issued in town. Um, of in course, the in the downtown area. Any in number on that, or do we know any numbers? Or? I don't have the exact numbers. Okay. Then the numbers in our reports ended as of uh, yeah, yes, November 30th. So. Um, but I guess Kevin's also getting a fair number of complaints, I think, from some of the local vendors and stuff that I don't think they should be getting tickets. So, um, but other than that, that's all. All right. Any questions? All right. Finance and personnel. Um, Peter's not here. Anybody have anything on finance or personnel matters? Just uh, what we went over with the hiring and everything else. It's all news. Okay. Engineering, technology, and public work. We had no meeting this month, but our major projects that we started this year are completed. That includes the Mine Mount Road, Park Avenue, <coughs> Bodner. Um, they were going to start the drainage on. Um, Chip. No. Sycamore. Sycamore. I'm not sure how far they got. I haven't been over that. But we have plenty to do next year. So sure, I don't. <laughs> Another. And we have the money. So that's and we good. have the money. So. All right. That's it, Jeff. That's it. Yeah. All right. Any, Any other committee meetings? reports? All right. Seeing none, I'll move the items of business. A proposal for service for services from New Jersey rental inspections. This will be our housing. Yeah. Inspections. Um, I like to just. Um, comment on this. I, I, I think I mentioned this last meeting. Uh, we wanted the housing committee to have input on this contract and also the performance of the rentals inspectors. So we wanted to um, at least push it out until the end, uh, end of the first quarter. All right, so. Why don't, yeah, why don't we, we can do that. Why don't we do it by motion to extend it? Absolutely. Yeah. All and right. then we're, we'll come, the housing committee will have a recommendation at the end of uh, March. Okay. Jack, will we do that tonight? Yes. 2015 contract for free. Yes. Yeah, I think you can do it tonight. Do it right now? Yes. All right. right. We don't want to lapse. I'll, I'll entertain a motion to extend these services on New Jersey rental inspections um, for 2015 for the first three months of 2016. Yeah, under the same terms and conditions. Under the same terms and conditions. I'll move. Move by Mr. Deportes. Second. Second by Mr. DeLeo. Roll for all in favor. Aye. Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? None. The ayes have it. All right, 11B, new municipal printing agreement with Somerset County. Anyone have anything on that? Are these rates competitive, Ralph? Do we use them, the county? Okay. Oh, I don't know. If, I'm sorry. I, I don't know if we use that exact one. I think you meant just as a whole. We right. use New York County. Uh, I don't things. know that we've used the county Anybody printing the because it's so far. Well, it's not that convenient for us, but it doesn't hurt anything to put no, it, it in place. No, it doesn't hurt anything. I was just curious. In a pinch. We have, we have put it in place before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, well, you we know. do use a number of county functions yeah. as a whole, though. So it doesn't, you know, it's available to us if you agree to it 
and we can always get quotes, and if it's right. worth the trip down there, we could use it. Right. But uh, okay. I, my office is not used it, but somebody else may have them. But it's another resource that we can use as a municipal government. Absolutely. Okay. Everybody in favor? Besides, it counts as an interlocal agreement, I think. Yeah. Yes, it does. Are we in favor of moving Aye. forward with the uh, municipal printing agreement with Somerset County as needed? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Opposed? Abstain? The yeses have it. Our membership in the State River Coalition. We, we no. delayed this, yeah. but we haven't figured out what, I mean, what, what, what the benefit of the $275 is. They, they sent you some new information today. Did you see that? Oh. Went out by email today. It's 125 now. Going down. Going down. Let's wait. Let's wait till it's. It will underscore your commitment to the protection of our waterways. I think you did not join in the past. No, I don't think we did. Yeah. I don't think we should break precedent. <laughs> All right. Anybody in favor of joining the Pacific River Coalition? Well, I haven't read this, so I can't. Maybe we should reapproach it. We can join at any time. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Right. They'll they'll, right. they'll, they'll, have, they'll take our check in February. All right. So this evening we're so not in favor of any more any any more. But we would help them on their park in Patterson. <laughs> yes. And maybe. And in Lynnhurst, cleanups in Lynnhurst <laughs> and Little Falls, in West Milford. I did ask them specifically. I spoke to the director and I said I specifically wanted to know about projects that they do that are ben that benefit Bernardsville. <clears throat> You got crickets. Okay. <laughs> Item D. <laughs> All right. I am None of the above. <laughs> no. No action. No. All right. Item D. Um, council reorganization. I have a few personnel matters I would like to discuss with this in an executive session. Yes. All right. Anyone else? All right. 11E correspondence. Seeing there's none. No. Um, I'll entertain a second open session. Anybody from public wishing to be heard? Anyone from the council on items before we go into closed session? Are we going to come out? Seeing none. Um, I don't think we're going to come out. I have nothing to come out on and make any okay. decisions. All right. So seeing none, I'll entertain a motion. I'll move. Over the closed session, discuss personnel matters. Moved by Mr. Deportier. Second. Second by Mr. Youngblood. I know I pointed right now. You see that? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? The ayes have it. We don't have cool so boards here. So, so you got to take care of it. So I just want like that. <laughs>